Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Arizona Living. In this show, I want to talk about monsoons. And I'm going to do this video throughout the next two to three days. Reason being is it's June 13th, I think, today. And uh, monsoon season officially starts on June 15th here in Arizona. The funny thing is, is we might actually get a monsoon that day. So there's a hurricane down in, um, for those that kind of keep track of this stuff, down in New Mexico, and it's working its way up. And the remnants of that uh, will start pumping some moist uh, clouds into our area, which could cause us to get our first monsoon. So uh, I think I want to devote this video to monsoons. And uh, uh, monsoons are interesting and are kind of refreshing. They can be deadly, uh, especially as you know, a lot of us have what's called washes here. Um, <laughs> from Washington is washes. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, so they're, you'll drive over them in bridges and you'll say, oh, it's something river or something wash, and there's no water in them. But as soon as, uh, you know, you could have a rainstorm 50 miles away from here and it can affect us down here in Arizona or down in Phoenix area because the water's got to go somewhere. And so uh, we get large quantities, quantities of it. So immediately it runs down, goes into these washes, creates a river, and follows the washes out till it either evaporates or goes to an outlet somewhere. And... Uh, Anyway, um, so sometimes people, <laughs> every year, there's always somebody who says, well, I can drive through it, <laughs> and it's like, and they don't, and so we actually have some new laws down here, like, I think it's called the stupid driver law. <laughs> anyway, if you uh, uh, are actually caught where your car is caught in one of these washes, and, and you know, it, the trouble it costs between sometimes helicopters and emergency vehicles and stuff, uh, uh, they'll find you big time. But uh, anyway, washes, uh, I mean, not washes, but monsoons cause uh, a lot of rain all at once, which can be kind of a, a problem on the roads, definitely. Um, most of us don't have gutters, so we get a large quantity of, uh, of water coming off of our houses. And like for us, uh, some of our other videos, you'll probably notice that we have a garden. I'm kind of curious to see how well my garden's going to survive after a couple monsoons. The other thing is, uh, I'm going to turn the camera, and you can see I'm sitting under a, a gazebo, and uh, you may not realize, I mean, I, we love our gazebo, and you know, you can get these up big lots, but you might notice, uh, I'll bring my camera over here, that the bars down in here are actually staked into the ground, but you might have also noticed these things. And so, they, they may be kind of unsightly, but with a monsoon, we can get 30 to 50 mile per hour winds for like a half hour at a time. And you could say goodbye to this gazebo big time, and the neighbor would say, you know, your gazebo's in your mind backyard. So we have these staked down, and we have uh, um, sticks in the ground for these uh, tethers, and actually have tethered down all the corners except one. Um, the sun's in the wrong spot, but you can see I have it over here too, and we have one in the back, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do this corner too, but anyway, and the other thing you'll find interesting right at this minute, this minute, I'm sitting outside under the shade, it's 109 degrees, so it's a, it's a hot day, and that's even hot for Arizona, but this is our winter time, so uh, amazingly enough, it only lasts for about two, three months, and then we get summer for eight to nine months. So, but monsoons are coming, and I'm hoping to, uh, I have lots of videotape of some monsoon stuff, and I'll do a collage of some different monsoon clouds and lightning that I've gotten. And also, last year, right behind me, uh, I have a video of the, I used to have a, about a 14-foot, uh, um, cactus behind me and it actually got blown over and we have some videotape of that and it was uh, 
demolished some of our furniture and the whole world. While we are gone, we had some monsoons. <laughs> and uh, our cactus fell down. <laughs> oh my. Patio furniture. Uh, Cinder. Cinder. Yeah. Well, damn. So, anyway, they can be uh, destructive. So monsoons are nothing to laugh at, not to mention the lightning that comes off of them. Which is also a fear of when they're going through the mountains up by Flagstaff and stuff to try to avoid, uh, uh, well you can't avoid it, but uh, getting uh, lightning strikes and fire, not good this time of year. So uh, monsoons is a very serious subject. Um, however, a lot of the water we get here in Arizona um, come in the summer. So anyway, sorry for the wind, but uh, anyway. Uh, I'll show you more here as we go. The following video you're going to see is some uh, footage we got last year of some monsoons and it'll be just kind of a collage of things to give you that monsoons can be beautiful and amazing and not to mention some of the beautiful skies that we get, uh, the pink clouds and red clouds and, and uh, there's a lot of beauty to a, a monsoon but once again they're uh, something to take very serious here in Arizona. This is what a monsoon is like and uh, tomorrow will be beautiful. <laughs> you can't imagine how much water is coming down. Okay, we're going to make a run for you here. We're going to take a look at the river. See the water coming down? water is coming through here. All the way across. Okay, We're getting out of the rain guys. So, there you go, monsoon in Arizona. Hey, thank you for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and living in Arizona. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate that. Until next time, bye.